Meanwhile, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's foreign ministers are all set to meet in Goa. India is the chair of the grouping this year and is holding a number of ministerial meetings ahead of the summit this year. Our diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl brings you this ground report from Goa. Take a look. Goa, the picturesque coastal state in western India, is abuzz with activity as it prepares to host the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Foreign Ministers' meeting. The key ministerial meeting will see the participation of all member countries of the mega grouping in person. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar will be the host of the event and is expected to hold several bilateral meetings with his counterparts from other member countries. The fact that Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, China's new Foreign Minister Kim Gang and Pakistani Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto will be present in person puts focus on many things, especially outcomes of if any bilateral happens. Though the Indian side has made it clear when it comes to Pakistan, cross-border terror remains a big concern for New Delhi. Uh, where this particular meeting is concerned, you know, we are both members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, so we typically attend its meetings. Uh, and uh, we are the chair this year, uh, so the meeting is taking place in India. Uh, but the point, really the, the bottom line on this issue is uh, that it is for us very difficult to engage with a neighbor uh, who practices cross-border terrorism uh, against us. Uh, we have always said that they have to deliver on their commitment uh, not to encourage, sponsor and carry out cross-border terrorism. We continue to hope that one day uh, we would uh, reach that stage. The SCO Foreign Ministers' meeting in Goa is a crucial event for the organization as it will discuss a wide range of issues including political, economic and security cooperation among other member countries. Among the key issues that will be discussed and deliberated are counter-terrorism, extremism, connectivity. This meeting comes just a week after the SCO Defence Ministers' meeting, which was held in the Indian national capital of New Delhi. The SCO is made up of eight member countries, namely Russia, India, China, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, covering over 60% of the Eurasian landmass, 40% of the world population and 30% of the global GDP. With Iran becoming a full-fledged member under the Indian presidency, the SCO's strategic significance is expected to grow even more. New Delhi had a long association with the grouping before becoming its full member. India was granted observer status at the July 2005 Astana summit and became a full member of the SCO in 2017. Well, uh, the foreign ministers meeting happens on Friday here in Goa where we are right now. But tomorrow will be an important day since both the bilaterals, both with the Chinese foreign minister and the Russian foreign minister is slated. Now, when it comes to China, the Indian External Affairs Minister has several times publicly stated that the relationship is abnormal. And last week, in fact, we saw a bilateral between the Indian defense and Chinese defense ministers of which the key outcome was separate statements, both very divergent. This time also we expect similar kind of statements. Uh, India, of course, calling China to, of course, follow the packs. China, meanwhile, saying that situation is stable. Now, when it comes to Russia, we know relationship is doing well. But there is one issue, that is the trade deficit. Uh, we have seen increased uh, import of Russian energy by India since the conflict began. But that has also increased the trade deficit between the two countries and India has several times highlighted that including uh, during the meeting of uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister and the Russian Deputy Prime Minister who was in Delhi just two weeks ago.